everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica and today's video is going to be an unboxing of History Unboxed. I showed these in our fifth grade fall homeschool plans and said we would be using them and asked if you guys wanted to see inside and the answer was a resounding yes. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Now, History Unboxed, you have multiple different options. You can purchase them individual, like if you are studying Athens or Greece and you just want Athens, you can do that. You can also sign up for a subscription and they will send you either ancients, medieval, or modern. Um, so there's many different ways you can do it. There is also different age groups. So we are getting the ages 10 to 15 box. They also have, I believe, a five to 10 or a five to eight. There's a younger box and then there's like even an older, like it's an adult box. So there's definitely multiple different options. So I'm gonna show you what we're receiving, which is the 10 to 15 year old ancient subscription. But definitely make sure you check out their site if you're interested in hands-on history at all. So this is the Indus Valley Civilization box. In each box you get, first let's start here because this is my favorite part. You get a letter from Ava. So it's a letter, you know, it's kind of telling you where they're at, what they're doing, what they're seeing. So you have a friend that you're coming back to each and every month, which Emily absolutely loves. There is also always a coloring page. Um, this is nice because there's a lot of reading in this book. So typically she will color this while I'm doing most of the reading or while Kevin's doing most of the reading. Um, this is on nice cardstock. And then this is kind of the teacher's guide, if you will. There is a sticker on the front of each one because you get a timeline with the subscription, if you get the subscription. We actually put these stickers in our timeline history notebook that we use. I can talk more about that later if you guys are interested. Um, I just like to have them all in one place. And so then once you get in here, there is always reading questions and then it has all of the examples of what you're going to be doing so in this particular box there is a henna activity there is a game and then you actually make your own dice to go with the game and then it talks about food in the valley so there's a recipe and then here's even more information and then there's a map so normally what's inside the box is the things that you're going to need for whatever the activities are. So here you can see is the things that you're going to need for the henna. Here is a set of dice for the games that you're going to play. And then in this is open it so you can see it is paint a paintbrush and a little bird whistle which is from these activities so you get pretty much everything that you need I don't think so far we've done four boxes and I don't think that we've needed anything other than the food for the recipes if we wanted to make the recipes, which we have typically done. Um, other than that, everything's been included, which has been really, really nice. And it really does help history come to life because as I'm reading these things, Emily can color and then we can have, you know, the activities that go along with it afterwards. We typically do one or two activities a day. So it takes us about two to three sessions to actually get through all of this in our homeschool, but you may want to stretch it out longer or do it even quicker, which is absolutely possible. You could totally say, okay, today is a history day and do the entire box in one day if that's what suited your homeschool best. 